Hello and welcome to another edition of the TES Secondary Maths Resource of the Week with me, Craig Barton. Now, regular listeners and followers of the Resource of the Week series will know that I'm a bit of a sucker when it comes to a fancy Excel spreadsheet. Because some of the things that you talented people can do with Excel absolutely blow my mind. I just about struggle to do a sum formula and I'm quite impressed that when I can do that. And it's been quite a few months since I've featured an Excel spreadsheet on Resource of the Week. So I, I get a bit twitchy when I go that long without it. So I hope you will forgive me for bringing one back now because it is a flipping classic. So here it is. Infinite Worksheet Number Gym, which has been kindly produced and shared by Nick Waldron. Um, it consists of a single Excel file and it looks like this. So what we have here, I'll just move my annoying head out of the way, is we have... Um, uh, questions on the left hand side so it goes 1 to 10 uh, down there down the left hand side and then we have 11 to 20 down here um, and let's just have a quick look at the skills involved so we have the four operations in questions 1 to 4 then we have some kind of long multiplication or involved in place value then we have some decimal division equivalent fractions fraction amounts and so on if we hop over here we have some operations with fractions percentage of amounts rounding indices negative numbers negative numbers operations and negative number powers so we've got all number based topics and i hope you'll agree with me all absolutely fundamental skills if students are going to access the deeper more challenging problems because what we don't want is when kids are faced with a contextual problem involving say percentages them having to rack their brain and fill up their fragile working memory with wait a minute, how do I work out a percentage of an amount and so on. We want these skills automated and as accessible as possible. So this is a wonderful resource for doing that, but it does a lot more on top of it. So the first thing to say is that the beauty of Excel when it works well is you can randomly generate as many different questions as you want. So if I press F9, you'll see here that the numbers are changing. Also, what you'll notice is down here we've got a column. So this sheet is 1001 and here are the answers. So just to check, 7 times 11 is 77, 78 divided by 6 is 13. So here we've got the answers to all um, 1001, uh, sheet 1001. But if I scroll down, you'll notice here this is sheet 1002 and we have a separate set of answers for 1002 down there. This down here is sheet 1003 and so on. And these again, if you shift F9 it, these keep randomly generating and all the answers are provided. So we have got a setup here of 20 questions, all the answers, and we've got lots of different sets of these 20 questions. So the big question is, how do we make best use of this wonderful resource? Well, for me, there are three ways. The first is as a whole class starter. And I find that the best way to kind of project this on the board is if you just go to file and you go to print, you get a print preview there. And if I just move my head out of the way, then actually you can uh, zoom in a little bit there and you can get your screen just right so it's visible to all students doing that. So projecting up on the board or taking a little screenshot of it, put it in a PowerPoint or something like that. Whole class number based starter. And of course you've got the advantage that you've got all the answers there so you can just project those up on the board as well. So whole class starter, love it for that. Second thing, people who've been watching this or listening to me for the last year or so will know I'm obsessed with the daily low stakes quiz for my classes. Just to keep topics fresh in their mind, never going more than two or three weeks without revisiting another topic and so on. This is perfect for those. And indeed, if I just hop back onto the resource page, you'll see that the, the author, the main reason that they've created this is because if students are copying from each other, you can give them their own bespoke worksheet. So one option is you can simply print out uh, just the first set of 20 questions and give to every child. And that has the advantage that you've just got one set of answers to project up. Or if copying is an issue, and I've seen it be an issue in a lot of schools, you can essentially give every single child their own bespoke work Sheet because I think there's 31 available on here that you can print off in one go or you can perhaps print out four versions of it and then just make sure that if there's four kids on a table or something like that everyone's got a different one and then you've got all the answers available here to project up on the board so you can say right okay you've got worksheet one make sure you look down that column you've got worksheet four and so on so it works really well like that so for daily low stakes quizzes this is absolutely ideal and the final way is for independent revision. 
because these number-based skills are absolutely fundamental for kids to get right, um, in my opinion. So why not either email this Excel file home or put it on the school VLE or something like that, and then kids can be practicing whenever they want. They, they can be practicing all day long if they want and need to, because every time they hit F9, they're getting a brand new set of questions. So for independent revision of key number skills, this is absolutely ideal as well. So look, I just think this is a wonderful resource, one of the best uses of Excel that I have ever seen. So if you agree with me, hop back onto this, hop back onto this resource page, leave a review, uh, let the author know how you've used it, and I shall be back with a fresh resource of the week next time. Take care of yourselves. Bye for now.